I can explain. You don't have to explain anything to him. You should shut your mouth. What, are you going to make me? No, not. Ian will. I can't imagine he's going to be too happy when he finds out what's been going on. David. Do you know, I actually feel bad for him. Getting engaged to the same woman who betrayed him 30 years ago. He don't look too clever now, does he? No, David, wait! No, stop it. No. He's going to talk to Dad. Ian, you're all going to No, he won't not leave it. I I'll talk to him. David, what are you doing? You are so predictable. Don't do this. Do what? I just want a quick half, wet the whistle before I head off. Just hear me out, please. Do you know, I must be losing my touch. Because I started to buy all that flam about you and him wanting to be together and making it work. I actually started to think it was true. It is. You're having an affair. Another affair. Right under his nose, once I filled him in with what's been going on, I don't think he's going to be too keen on walking down that aisle. Why are you doing this to me? You don't care about him. No, not much. But I don't like him lording it over me, Cindy. I don't like the way he is. Like he's the big man and I'm nothing. Someone has to wipe that big, fat, smug smile off his face. Unfortunately, that person is me. No, please don't. I will lose everything. My family, my security. Just, just give me ten. Give the... We can talk. We'll go somewhere. I'll tell you the truth. I'll tell you everything. Please. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of course, it was a lucky punch. Huh? Unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. Look that way, there. No, it's what he's like. I mean, he always has been. I mean, my so-called half-brother. I mean, he shows me no respect. None. Let me get you a glass of Prosecco. Make up for it, yeah? All right. Uh, David's come to see the books. Tax stuffer. He's a bit of an expert. Yeah. Tax avoidance. My speciality. Um... Yeah, it's a bit of a private matter. Uh, could you do that another time? We haven't finished testing out the recording stuff yet. Um, tomorrow, maybe. I I'd really appreciate it. You'll have to give me a minute. I've got to log the recordings and pack up my stuff. Well, can't you come back later, please? Fine. Come on in, Fred. Thanks. Don't touch anything. Yes. It's very delicate. All right. Thanks. Well, come on, out with it. I ain't got all night. Lots of the good stuff. Oh. Hey, George, have you uh, seen Cinder? Uh, no, sorry. Uh, I think she went outside. Oh, right, thanks. Look, that, um, can I have a word? Cindy, 